Do you want to go to Europe? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're Simon and Maddie. In this series, we'll be going to some of the most beautiful places in the world. How good is it? So join us on our six week adventure through Europe. Get ready to delve into the charm of Christmas markets, dance into the new year on the lively streets of Budapest, marvel at extraordinary cathedrals and historic castles. This is like a real castle. Witness the world's most famous artworks and monuments, Tick one of the wonders of the world off our bucket list, embrace the magic of snow-capped mountains, and of course, indulge in the delicious food that Europe has to offer. This is so good. Yummy. This is a journey that you won't want to miss, so let the European exploration begin. In this series, we'll be including bloopers, so make sure you watch until the end. Bonjour. Bonjour. So, we are walking to the palace. Of yep. So this one we actually pre-booked back in Australia. Yeah. So apparently the line's pretty long as well, like the so Louvre. We booked the 9 a.m. Yeah. Um, is that the first opening? Yeah. I think we're running a bit like big line already. So this line is the nine o'clock. The short line is the thirties. Biggest ceiling painting we've seen. What? See? Exactly what I just said. You don't think you can get impressed again when it happens again. Since 1978, the Palace of Versailles has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the greatest achievements in French 17th century art. The original residence was primarily a hunting lodge and private retreat for Louis XIII before becoming the principal residence of French kings and queens from Louis XIV to Louis XVI. The grounds cover an area of over 2,300 acres and the palace played a pivotal role in shaping European art, architecture and politics. It's making my head to disbelief. <laughs> Look, it's named after you. Oh, who? Oh. Le Repasse Simon. Simon. Who is Simon? You are Simon. Simon. Compared to the Louvre, this is a lot more organised. So there's only yeah. one way you follow the signs. The layout. Yep. Louvre is like a it's like a maze basically. Yeah, you, you can go this way, you can go that way, you can go that way. If you turn this way, then you have to go back and go around the other way. Yeah. And you don't know like, oh have I been to that way before? And yeah, it's good. Yeah, so this one you just follow set one. Yeah. It's all set. Just follow the arrows, you won't get lost. And it kind of makes sure that you see everything as well. Yeah. Off to the garden. Wow, that is... That is a big garden. Good hedging. Yeah. Looks like you can get a golf cart and just drive around the estate. Yeah. You have to pay for it back. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Wow. There's quite a few people doing that. Just got in trouble. Yeah, got Simon in trouble. just got in trouble. Just, just sitting on the ledge. Yeah. Take a photo. It's not that unsafe, to be No, honest. it's quite a thick yeah. um, thing.
what's the difference between a palace and a castle? Do apparently, you know? apparently a castle is built for defense, mm -hmm. but a palace is that you can actually live in it. Right. So this, this, this is a palace. Yeah. So this is, oh. sort of kings. <laughs> this palace is actually 400 years old now, from 1623. Now it's 2023. 2024 almost. That's what it looks like. Very good. Hmm. Now we're just gonna sit down, have a little bite to eat, and then head to Montmartre. Mm -hmm. Going back. Yeah, so Montmartre. There's this building, I'm not quite sure what it is. <laughs> what? And then um, quite a cute, like, little town. Mm -hmm. the metro here. Yeah, a little yeah. bit of a stuff up yep. <laughs> in the trains, but we're here. Yeah, so. we're here, finally. So that building there is the Sakaka, which is a um, basilica or um, a church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really big, beautiful, has so a great, busy here. great view of the city as well. So yeah, busy. Yeah, so busy. Show Busiest you. place that we've been to yet. Yeah, for sure. Which I don't know why. I mean, I know why. It's a Place, it's a good view of the city. We've been to and other I think places. A lot of people are sitting on the stairs, maybe they're waiting for sunset. But that's not for another two hours. Here you go. Ricardo! So we're lining up now to go inside. Yep, three to go in. We don't know what's inside yet, so let's find out together. How is it? Good. Good? Yeah. That building is made for me. I don't. It literally said Madison Road. No, it said Mason. Yeah, we just. It's Mason Road. Missing one letter. And it's pink and it's green. It's and it's very cute. And you are pink and you are green? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Mason Rose. I am struggling. This is the side you don't see in all the videos and the pictures of the perfect holiday is all the sore bodies and tiredness. We are now going to Theo Van Gogh's apartment. So that is Vincent Van Gogh's brother. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. So apparently this door here, fifth, number 54, is Vincent's brother Theo Van Gogh's apartment. So, so some guy just came up to us. Speaking in French and started, started saying in French. Something in French. And then we're and like, they oh. pointed, he pointed to his outfit. Yeah. So. And we're like, oh, sorry, we don't speak French. And he goes, oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, and left. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. I think he was on the, wanted to say, do you like my so outfit? Or something. I don't 
kind of dressed like me, all mate. Yeah, a little bit. But all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. This area. Full of sex shops. They don't tell you that when you come to the Moulin Rouge. Sexy, sexy shop. Oh, the other one? Love Story. Love Story. Sex shops. You want to go all eat? Of them. Nah. What do you reckon? I think it's pretty good. I think we need to go from a different angle, but... Bonjour. So this morning is a little bit of a later morning for us. I say late and it's like 8.30. Um, today's a bit of a catch up day. We're just doing things that we didn't get to see the other days. Um, we've already seen like the big ticket items. Um, so yeah, pretty relaxed, chill day today. So in Paris, they obviously have like the big museums. Museums everywhere. But yeah, there's everywhere. With that sign that you just saw museum this way, museum that way, museum that way, and they're not even like, not even like the Louvre, like the big ones. Oh, that's a cool door. Huh. What is that? There's palaces everywhere too. Looks like. Oh, this is a museum. Oh. See, museum. <laughs> See, museum. Looks like we have a Sunday market here. Doesn't look like a Christmas I was one. Say, is it a Christmas market? Or just a, nah, it looks pretty, regular? pretty normal. Yep. So we came to the place Vendome to Defrost. Yep. We rode the bikes here again and that was good this time. We yep. had like nice wide lanes, no cars, like it was really nice. Mm -hmm. Now we're defrosting in the sun, looking at the big pole. Is it a pole? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. Obelisk, that's what I thought they're called. Oh, yeah. um, and there's Christmas trees everywhere, lots of um, designer shops all along here too. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wouldn't believe what just happened. <laughs> There's a guy walking past carrying a cat, which is weird enough as it is, but and then <laughs> Simon, goes, Simon goes, oh, monkey, and I thought, I was like, and I, and I was like oh, because I thought it was a monkey too. <laughs> but it's just a cat. <laughs> We're at Place de la Concorde. Yep. Um, and there's a fountain here. Fountain and then, yeah, the... the stick, the pole, the obelisk. I, I still need to look that up. It's called an obelisk or not. So we just went into the Roden Museum very quickly. We didn't actually go in because it's, how much was it? 13 euros. Yeah, and we weren't planning on actually like looking at anything else. We literally just Other than the thinker. The we thinker. saw the thinker. So there's the Roden, the thinker. What do you think of the thinker? I think he's thinking. <laughs> Had a quick lunch in front of Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. A picnic lunch. Yeah, you can't see on the grass anymore. Getting <laughs> ready for the Paris Olympics. Now ten years have passed and we're still locked in time. I don't take for granted the years that go by. Started with a gaze. Here we remain. We've got some time to spare, so we're going on an afternoon river cruise. It's a final afternoon in Paris. Yes. So we're leaving tomorrow morning quite early. Alright, we'll see you on the boat. Mm -hmm. See you then.
now we're checking oh, out the market. Just right next to the Eiffel Tower. Yep, we were here two nights ago. This yeah. was shut. Yeah, so it's very busy. It must be just a day thing. But yeah, let's check it out. Good. There you go. There you go. <laughs> got, a, got a coin. Oh, dropped it. Can't really see it too much yet. Oh, dog's <laughs> Let it do its business. So we had. <laughs> We've got some time to spare, so we're going on an afternoon cruise. Rip, 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 rip. 